Hey guys, this is my new 2015 WRX. I got the crystal white pearl model. Pretty happy with this car so far. It's the Limited with the CVT. I got 20% tint put on it all around, as well as with a visor. I'm planning on getting that WRX and the Subaru logos at the bottom there, the trunk removed. Here in about a week, it's going in and having the Opticote put on it. Uh, yeah, I'm totally pleased with this car. The CVT is awesome in traffic. I don't know if you can see it here, but I got the visor there on top. In my opinion, the visor is a must have. Uh, the dealer did drill holes in my front bumper, even though we had multiple discussions about not doing it. Not very excited about it. Alright, let's look at the trunk here. This is the Harman Kardon upgrade with the so-called subwoofer. Turns out it's an 8 inch in the back shelf with no box. Here is the amp for it. I'm not sure how big it is. When I talked to the dealer, I thought I was getting the 10 inch kicker subwoofer which would be placed right here but instead they made a mistake and I got an 8 inch in the back shelf so I'll probably be putting in a subwoofer here shortly I have noticed that the trunk is a little difficult to shut I got the keyless entry system it's touch to lock wait a couple seconds there we go automatic unlock Pretty sweet. It's got the nice leather seats that the Limited comes with, with the red stitching. Also got the all-weather mud flaps. We got the deck. The Harman Kardon upgraded deck here. It's not great. Found out today that navigation stops working when you get a phone call. I don't know. It's supposed to pull over and stop driving. I don't know. Here's the subwoofer in the back. We put it on the shelf. Got some kids seats back here. These seats are actually pretty cool. They work with the latch system so they hold tight against the seats so they're not moving all over the place. And then also got these Prince Lionheart mats to go underneath. The little display that's up on here shows you your boost. Miles per gallon will show you average or instant temperature outside. How far you can go. There's other data. This this screen's pretty cool here. So when you're moving, the tires light up in green, and the front tires there will actually show you where your position of your front tires are. So if you turn left, they point to the left or right. I guess that'd be more for like if you're rallying and you want to, you're stuck or you want to see where your tires are. That's that. It's pretty neat. You got. Main display here. You can see uh, you can get the miles per hour up in the center there. Or you can get the different drive modes. That's your trip. How long you've been on the trip? You also have different uh, odometers. You got a B. The auto air is slick, loving it. Click it there, turn it on, set it to where you want for temperature. It kicks on the AC or the heat, and it actually moves the air around as well, like where it's going to be blowing. Right now it's trying to cool down to 72 in here. Go ahead and kill that. Let's see. I think that about does it. Here's just a quick shot of that 8 inch Harman Kardon on the top shelf. Another shot of the sea lights on at night. Just a couple other pictures that a couple people wanted me to take. Yeah, of course, as soon as I bought my car, the first week it rained the whole entire week, which was a bummer deal, but looks like it's going to be nice. 
Here's my devastating bumper. What a bum deal. Oh well, love the car.